Speaking for the affirmative, Paul Foch. Greetings. So, an allegation has been made by the panel. <laughs> An allegation that words are strong and actions weak. But as we will discover, the truth is rather more complicated. <laughs> Let us prepare to solve the mystery. <laughs> actions speak louder than words, is the quote. Probably. <laughs> but what does that mean? I think we know. I mean, you, for example, sir. Supposing you were to say to your girlfriend, I'm going to waterproof your goose. <laughs> Fine words. <laughs> but unless you temporarily capture the creature, Prepare a mixture of turpentine and wax, and then carefully paint it on to every feather. Every feather! <laughs> what is the point of your words? <laughs> yes. Yes, thank you. Yeah! A round of applause there, as people appreciate that already we're closing in on the argument. <laughs> I shall now prove that what I say is correct using mathematical formulae. <laughs> they say that words are more powerful than actions. <laughs> so let's write down their hypothesis. Words are greater than actions, is what they say. Now, we know by the basic principles of algebra that we can just swap the letters here uh, and still keep the same value. So... <laughs> it's just basic algebra. So, uh, actions... So, carry... Oh, hang on. So, swap that. Carry the S there. <laughs> so, sword is more powerful than actions. <laughs> But there's another quote, isn't there? And it's made up by Shakespeare in support of them. He said, the pen is mightier than the sword. Pen greater than sword. But is that really true? Let's just analyse that. What does that mean? Let's write it out in full. <laughs> pen is... Everyone's going to think they're watching the ABC. Greater than sword. Of course, we can move those uh, letters together without affecting... <laughs> so, we have penis greater than sword. <laughs> but, as we know, this is something the panel perhaps n have not considered. <laughs> a penis... A penis... without... Action. <laughs> a penis without action is worth less than nothing. <laughs> okay, that's now. Of course, this, uh, this means that action must be greater than penis. Obviously, if this penis minus action is less than zero, if it's negative action, it's just basic mathematics. <laughs> Action is greater than penis. <laughs> but of course, from our, from our previous theorem, we know that penis is greater than sword. <laughs> so, therefore, action is greater than sword. But of course, we can do our same thing as we did at the beginning by the principle of Multiplicative commutativity. <laughs> we can move the 
S back to its original position without affecting the value. <laughs> and we can see clearly here, action is greater than words. Somewhere along the line, we've lost the penis, but... <laughs> so, the mystery deepens. <laughs> if actions do truly speak louder than words, then it's time for mime. <laughs> and the mime I've prepared for you this evening is based around the theme of a terrorist. <laughs> and... Yeah, perhaps one thing I ought to just address now, because it has gone a bit awkward <laughs> ever since I mentioned I was going to do a mime. <laughs> and that is just to kind of put your minds at ease. Uh, and that's just to say that, that when I commence the mime, I shall still be speaking throughout. <laughs> I've kind of invented my own genre here. <laughs> I call it Mime Plus. <laughs> So, in the first scene, we will see a terrorist, dissatisfied with the world, taking a stand. Uh, hello. <laughs> I am a terrorist, dissatisfied with the world. <laughs> the price of groceries has been going right up recently, hasn't it? <laughs> you can see now how important it is that there is speaking. Without the speaking, you would have had no concept of uh, his emotions. <laughs> In Act Two... <laughs> it's just uh, going to the final act now. <laughs> In Act Two... The terrorist returns to prove that actions really do speak louder than words. <laughs> I ain't happy with the world. And shortly after some minor tweaking, I'll be ready to end it all. <laughs> 